This last segment deals with the last four problems in 6.1's mini-lecture, numbers 13 through 16, where we're going to change a fraction or a mixed number to a percent. So thinking back to the way we did this when we were changing decimals to a percent, to have this be out of a 100, out of a per 100, instead of out of 1, we're going to need to multiply each of these fractions by 100. Now the steps needed to do that multiplication has us thinking back to our fraction chapter, chapters 2 and 3. To multiply 3 fourths times 100, I'm going to put the 100 over a 1, then reduce and then multiply. 3 times 25 is 75. 1 times 1 is 1. We can drop the 1. 3 fourths is the same as 75 percent. 4 fifths times 100 has us putting the 100 over a 1 again, then reducing this time by 5 and then multiplying. The 7 eighths is going to require an extra step. Because I multiply 7 eighths times 100 once, but for the first time it's not possible to get my whole denominator to drop out. I can divide both the top and the bottom by 4, But when I multiply, I still have a denominator left. So I'm going to go ahead and do the division with this. 2 will fit into 17 8 times, with 1 remaining, and into 15 7 times, with 1 remaining again. So I can either write this percent as 87 and 1 half, that's just simply turning this improper fraction into a mixed number, or I can write this as its decimal form, since 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths, I can also write 7 eighths as 87.5 percent. To do the multiplication with the mixed numbers, I first need to turn this into an improper fraction, 13 fourths, times 100 once, then I reduce by a factor of 4, and then multiply. 13 times 25 is 325 over 1, or 325 percent. To summarize all of the different conversions we've learned, all of the different types of numbers, whether you're starting with a whole number, or a decimal, or a fraction, or a mixed number, any type of number, if you want to take that number and change it into a per 100, into a per cent, you're going to need to multiply by 100. Likewise, if you're starting with a percent and you want to change it into any type of number, to go from a percent to a whole number, a percent to a decimal, a percent to a fraction, a percent to a mixed number. To go that direction, you need to divide by 100.